know me, I'll be fine. I'll be back as soon as I find Chris. Why does everyone think I'm gonna get in trouble? What the? they'll have some answers at the police station. Wait, you're a cop? Yeah, Leon Kennedy. You are? Claire. Claire Redfield. That's kind of cool how it gives you like a Leon, I'm quicker sure you rundown of what happened at the beginning. <clears throat> okay, so we have a five shot capacity nine millimeter handgun. Oh, making it extremely easy to handle. I like that. I like that. Okay. Oh. Well, someone didn't finish digging these graves, burying these people, you know, whichever. That's nice and blocked. I like that we're in new areas already. Well, that looks locked. There's the helicopter that crashes. Which means Leon's just around the corner. Red herb. Blue herb? Where the fuck's my green herb? Leon's not here. Where the fuck's Leon? Leon's supposed to help. Oh. Hey! Leon! Claire! Hold on! I'll be right there! Okay! Claire! It's so nice to see you. How are you doing? That helicopter just came out yeah. of nowhere. I'm in one piece. I'm guessing you don't have a key in one of those fancy pockets? Uh, unfortunately, no. Mm. But how are you doing? You know, just surviving. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Any luck with your brother? No, not yet. Claire, don't lose hope. I'm sure we're gonna find him. You know what that means? Yeah. Dinner time. And you got very distracted from that whole. We'll find your Claire, your brother Claire. Don't, don't worry. Don't worry. Leon. You take care of yourself. Claire, you need to go now. Okay. Let's get through this. Both of us. Bye, Leonard. You can all go bash on the gate where Leon is. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Schnip.
a new gun all of a sudden. I assume it's the magnum of Claire's playthrough. Hand grenade. This is a very different way to get, very different order to get your stuff. Yeah, I know about health and recovery items. Key to the police station's courtyard wire fence door. But that never unlocks. Hey, friend! <laughs> oh, there goes my grenade. I just instinctively pressed the defend me button. Bummer. Jesus. Son of a bitch. Oh. Wow, that's a slow reload. Nice. Fucking firing from the hip. What are you, a cowboy? <clears throat> what is this, Red Dead Redemption? Resident Dead Redemption. So this is our main gun now instead of the SLS. Okay, uh, let's go this way. Because Leon went through here. You know, I'd rather you didn't. You know, you just, you're in my way and I just don't want it. Okay. That's nice and locked. Hooray! First aid spray. Oh, hi, friend. There's a very slow reload. Let there be light! Hooray for collision detection. Yay! <laughs> My fellow Americans. We're fucked. I know how to use the damn map. Get off my ass! Wooden boards, remember those? Remember when they were a thing <laughs> in uh, Leon's playthrough? Now 
I suppose there's no need to board that up now. Uh, fire escape. Oh, there's more. Nice. Nice. This zombie's on fire. Did you die? Is it just not gonna die? where the shotgun is. Article, the red stone. The ruby that captivated Edward the Black Prince, the pearl that the Queen of the Nile milked dry, the diamond that a queen that led a queen to the guillotine. There is no end to the number of tales related to the appeal, appeal of jewels. This mysterious red stone is simply the latest to sparkle among them. Like those other jewels, this one's origin is unknown. It's said that it once adorned a noblewoman's jeweled box and was even dedicated to a wise king. This fall, this stone that's long been shrouded in legend will be on display during the auction. There are sure to be many eager enthusiasts there. But, dear reader, one would do well to approach with care, for devilry, for devilry lies in beauty's shadow. This jewel has turned caring nobles who love their subjects into despots more terrible than Calig Caligula, and we have the tales to prove it. Seriously, it's precisely because these jewels are bathed in blood that their luster stirs something in the hearts of people everywhere. So, I guess Leon doesn't have the jewel at the moment. I don't have the book, so... Yeah. <laughs> You're a crank. Okay, well... <laughs> Too much ammo. That guy looks comfy. Stole my fucking pistol because there's apparently no use to me right now. Uh, store that. Store that. Okay, onwards. Oops. Nothing out here. What's that? Oh, that's the fuse box. On the same floor as the press room. Anyway. <laughs> well, now I need that red green, don't I? Eh, uh, maybe not.
Nah. I'm good for now. Oh, you're fine. Scrap of paper. Oh, that's helpful. That's... that's great. Oh, hey, this is open. Cool. What's that? It's a knife. There's nothing there at the moment. Oh! So I guess Claire gets the grenade launcher. <laughs> White gunpowder. That's different. I will pick that up in a moment. Ooh, hello. <sighs> and she gets a submachine gun. Cool. As the uh, fuse to get back into the main room. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, did I pick up that electrical fuse? Yes, I did. What have we got down here? That's locked. Cool. Good try, buddy. Good try. Damn, they blew his hand off. Anybody here? Well, now everyone knows where, where we are, so... Good job, Claire. My Pet friend. not part of the rescue squad. <sighs> oh, Brana. That's a shame. Sorry, buddy. You're already zombified, which means Leon's already come and gone through all of this place. Notebook with missing page. Hooray! This is all about the goddess statue and the three medallions. And I have zero of the medallions, so... yeah. Really? Couldn't you just stay down?
What was that? It looked like a problem to me. suitable weapon to deal with you. So bye. <clears throat> Look here, kid. Stay down. I will keep shooting you, I swear to god. If I could like zoom in or something. I don't remember. None of this looks familiar. Why the creepy music, huh? What did I do to deserve that? Is it because I failed the puzzle? Fight me. back to health. Now I feel wonderful. I don't remember what the code is for that safe either. Guide pamphlet. Welcome to Raccoon City. Did you know while we are the home of the pharmaceutical giant Umbrella Corporation, Raccoon City is a vibrant and dynamic city with a long re rich history of its own. In this guide we'll introduce you to just a few of the more unusual points of interest our city has to offer. The police station. The building in the centre of town wasn't always a police station, in fact it used to be an art museum. Various features like the unusual clock tower and the goddess statue in the main hall remind us, remind us of a bygone era. The orphanage, just a few blocks from the police station, is an orphanage founded and run by Umbrella Corporation with the help of generous donations from businesses and citizens alike. The building is known for its stained glass window which attracts visitors from around the world. It turns a museum into a police station. Some fucking nutcase, that's who. So it looks like my only option is uh through the liquor uh. 
with a pistol. I thought he'd gotten up again. Hurry up, hurry up. Not. That took everything I had. But that's completely open. There we go. Record of events, September 25th. We're running, we're turning the station into a temporary shelter due to the massive sudden outbreak. All police personnel have been instructed to make the safety of the citizens their top priority as we try to accommodate as many of them as possible. September 25th, addendum. One of the refugees attacked us in the middle of the night, resulting in the death of one officer and injuring three others. The person in question was quickly restrained. We believe this was simply a case of someone snapping under intense stress. September 26th, a mob attacked the station today, resulting in a number of casualties. A few survivors were able to make it to safely, safe were able to make it safely behind the emergency shutters but surrounded as we are it'll be hard for any of us to escape this place we're not sure we can fix any of our comm equipment so we remain cut off from the outside world september 27th there was another cra clash on the west side of the station around 1 p.m 12 people died and there was there is only a handful of survivors left everything is falling into disarray here david ford poor ford i'm the map Uh, is this open? It is now. This is a C4 detonator. Okay. Cat needs to get into the uh, upstairs one. I know where that is. Flash grenade. It's I want to climb through just because I want to. Yeah, now I'm as cool as Leon. You'll get that, don't worry. Storage locker terminal memo. It appears the keypad to the locker's terminal is missing a few keys. I suggest to the person responsible for this mess find some spare keys and fix this right now. You know who you are, bastard. Who else would fuck this, fuck it up this badly? <laughs> beep beep. Grenade launcher. Hmm. 
I shall have to pick those up another time. Although I think there's a bag upgrade in here somewhere. After. Uh, 102 and 3 don't open, 106 will, and 109 will, that has some ammo in it. Good, good. Uh, two o the, none of the 2-0s will open, will they? Um, I have one slot left. Need to find storage. Dark room on my left. That's got storage. <laughs> Medical benefits of herbs. Humans have used herbs to treat sickness or disease since the dawn of time. In this book, we will explore three such herbs native to the Arclay Mountains. Green herbs have the ability to heal basic injuries, while blue herbs have long been used to treat poisoning. As, of red, as for red herbs, while they are visually appealing, they offer no medicinal benefits, or so it was thought until recently. It's well known that combining uh, herbs together produces the blends that heighten the herbs' effects, but it has been discovered that red herbs can play a big role when mixed properly. According to one doctor of Asian medicine, mixing blue and red herbs together produces is a blend that will strengthen one's constitution. I wish it said temporarily because I fucking fell for it the first time. Truly, we have only just begun to realize the full potential of these herbs and their ability to deal to heal the human body. Further research is sure to yield even more fascinating results. quick save then go back into that room and uh, grab the stuff. This will most likely be a shorter playthrough than the Leon one because I know where the stuff is and um, I know the uh, solutions to some of the puzzles. Not all of them as you may have noticed though, that lion statue. Still don't know how to get into that. I'll have to watch my playthrough. <laughs> of uh, last time. I'm busy, go away. Oh, grand. Wow, you really wanted it then. Well, now I have a problem. At least I have a knife. I'm sure 108 had something in it. No, 106. It's a red herb. Film contains evidence. Do not leave out. Commemorative photo. It's the statue with a red book. I can't remember where to find the red book at the moment, though. I'm sure it won't take me long to find it.
Actually, I should probably have one green, uh, red blue mix, shouldn't I? At least always on standby. In storage, ready for me. Okay, um... I haven't been to the West Office yet. <clears throat> More gunpowder. Uses for gunpowder. Handgun ammo is gunpowder times two. Acid rounds is gunpowder and white high-grade gunpowder. Submachine gun ammo is two white gunpowder. There's a lot of ammo... Not a lot of ammo left around the station, so make good use of any gunpowder you find. Different guns require different ammo, so pay attention when you're combining things, or you won't get what you need. Is that safe? <sighs> Operation report. September 28th, 2.30 a.m. It's down to just me and three others. No weapons, no ammo, and too many skirmishes have drained us mentally and physically. We're not going to make it. O Officer Phillips once suggested we escape through the sewers. Apparently there's a secret tunnel under his place, left over from its museum days. I brushed her idea off, but now it's not sounding all that bad. Yeah, there's no proof there's even a tunnel, or that the sewers aren't infested with zombies, but I don't want to sit here and wait to die either. It's a long shot, but I'm going to try to find out what I can about the tunnel. <coughs> Elliot Edward. Rookie's first assignment. Leon S. Kennedy, we're putting you on a very special case for your first assignment. Your mission is to unlock your desk. The key to your success is in the initials of our first names. Input the letters in order of our desks. Uh, there are two locks, one on each side of your desk. Make sure you get them both. Basically, your first task is to remember your fellow officers' names, but you figured that much out, right? Good luck, Leon. By the way, it might take a little work to get Scott to give you a straight answer. Lieutenant Branner. Screwed in a corner between drops of blood. Be glad you're not here, rookie. Well, he's going to wake up. Uh, so... Yeah, that's... That's, that's kind of mine. Uh, that's a G. I've only got one bullet. Pop! for this side or MRG one of those and didn't I pick up a thing uh, there you go Edward no Just found some ammo too. Like, could you fucking just wait a second? Because I want that knife back. Thanks, man. Okay. M E fucking D. Ned. great and all but that gun is there's like no ammo for it I would like a speed loader for for this gun but you know we can all dream I suppose that's grand
Anywho. room, although I think that's locked. I'd have to go through the operations room anyway. Rude. Yes, it is. And I can't get in there. I'm sure you usually have ammo for me. That's a shame. Okie dokie. Oh, that's locked. Uh, I guess we're going upstairs then. Ooh, hi, friend. Yeah, I don't really have ammo to deal with you, so just move. Thanks. This is my first real trip upstairs. It's exciting. At least I have plenty of that. I have a lot of grenade launcher ammo. Portable safe instructions. Uh, press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Then light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing a single button out of order will cause all the lights to go out and you will need to start the sequence over again. Remember. Uh, not that there's a portable safe here, but that's that's fine. Uh, jewel adorn, but jewels adorn the top of this beautiful box. There seems to be something inside, but I can't open it because I need the jewel. I can't get the jewel because I don't have the plastic book. There's a zombie right behind me. There's a red herb here. Nice. I don't think they know I'm behind them. <laughs> die villain! Die villain! Die villain! Okay. <laughs> I cut her arm off! And back to the usual state of having no fucking ammo. Okay, that's locked too. Hey, a key. Nice. No one else in here. Okay. So Claire goes through the same fucking problem that Jill goes through on Resident Evil 1. A complete lack of ammo.
I think they made the B-side just more of a pain in the ass on purpose. Probably. Some guy's scribblings. Damn those corporate assholes, they cut me off. After all I've done for them. But if that's how it's gonna be, so be it. I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I boarded all those filthy pigs up in a steel pen and set some C4. All I gotta do is detonate it and it's sayonara, suckers. But it's no fun if it's over too soon, so maybe I'll give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, I'll give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guy next to you and I'll spare the others. I wonder what it'll do. You yell about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, you're such a good cop, so good you had to die. Man, this is fun. I need some music for this. Cool, insanity is fun. Ah, uh, the library. I will come back to this. I'm not going to make it past him. Nope. Having no ammo is fun. You just dipped a toe into hardcore. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> Is this before or after I... I think it's after I did that. One shot, that's great. You figured since you finished Bloodborne, why not? Because bullet sponges, that's all I'll say. Get away from me! So let's make sure I have my knife equipped. Great, I just wanted to store the box because I don't have room to carry it around. <clears throat> I'm well aware of how to combine items, thank you.
was messy. for my bullets again. To any survivors, consider this a gift for anyone still unfortunate enough to be alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they were skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but their hearing more than makes up for that. So long as you don't run around like a total idiot, guns, bla guns are blazing, you should be able to slip right by them. Probably. Either way, made, make like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them, yeah? Anyway, not that I want to go, but duty calls. That and I've got a friend to avenge. David. Thanks, David. That advice will come in slightly handy. But only slightly. And it's fine until you have to get, like, get past one. Then you can't because, you know... You can't really get really close to them. You can walk around them, but you can't, like, get really close to them, otherwise they will fuck you up. Okay, back to the library. This place is great. I think someone's having a snack. Hi, friend. Don't mind me, just dropping in. Hello, box. Yeah, would you stop that? Roll a film. Two people, scales, and scorpion? Well, that thing, whatever that is. <laughs> I don't have any room for it. That is just swell. You can stay there for now, then. Okay. Okay. You can just stay in here for a little while. Oh, well, that was unnecessary, wasn't it? You bitch. I'm gonna want that back now. Or I can just take that one. See ya! through the West Office. Ah, you guys got fucked up. 
I burn the shit out of you. You suck. Okay, lion statue is crown flame bird, so they changed it. I wasn't being a dumbass. <clears throat> well, I'm always being a dumbass, but that's not the point. the west office gone. Oh, there it is. Hi, friend. Branner. <laughs> oh, there's the red book. Okay, now I need to try and remember where the art room is. Uh, upstairs, I guess. On the east side. There's a spade door over there too, so I can just go through the door. That's the last spade door as well. Yes, it is. Inventory space. Our room is right here. Left arm with book. Now I can beat the zombies with it. Where's the button? There it is. Clink. Yeah. Now I... You fucking what? Burn in hell. Thank you. 
That didn't fucking happen the last time. I'm angry and offended that that just happened to me. So according to the map, I've missed something in this hallway. Although it might be because I haven't cranked the thingy. We'll just assume that it's because I haven't cranked the thingy. Ta-da! Oh. I haven't even found the star's room yet. the shower room. I don't know how to get through the I can't- well, I do know how to, but I can't get through the shower room right now. I may have to use my grenade launcher in the uh, library. Okay, I completely forgot you were there. Shit. Here we go, he's down. I've been lied to. Fuck you. What a dick. Find me in here. Placed, but I don't think that's going to happen. You silly goose, you can't climb ladders. I do have a knife. It's annoying. Didn't let me use it to defend myself. Good fucking shot, Claire. That was better. Doesn't seem to be 
anything I can pick up in here. I don't know why I've got my pistol out, it doesn't have any ammo. Well, we seem to be in a spot of bother. Go to the other side, see if there's anything else I can do. chained door there. Why didn't I open that? You big goof. No, I can get rid of that. See? See how well that went? You can just stay out there, I'm afraid. Hey, there's the valve. Or the handle for the valve. Oops. You know, there's another window there. Granted, I will just block it when you go for it. But just, just thought you should know that there is actually another window. that for convenience. More gunpowder. Oh, smooth. Doesn't this make acid rounds? It certainly does. Fuck, dude, you are really loud. <laughs> uh, I don't think I actually got anything else in here that was... Oh, I got the valve. Duh. Right, is 
this. Okay. That's bullshit, he was not behind me. It is open, but I think I've got most of what I can through here. There is a typewriter room there that I completely forgot about. rounds. I might just start boarding up random windows because I think you end up using them all for all the windows in the end. So it's not like, you know, you end up desperate for wooden boards. <clears throat> At least that's how it felt with Leon anyway. I have. <laughs> there we go. Hopefully he will no longer be a problem. To the shower room. <sighs> On the bright side, you're getting a great cardio workout. Oh wait, no, I have one more incident here. Okay. I thought you were super dead. That's all I needed from you. Hey friend. Nice. Gunpowder. around cool though not much else though less cool that's a mess someone should clean that
Yay! So much grenade launcher. What have you got, Wesker? You've got a battery. Which I won't pick up right now because I don't know if I want to. Internal memo. Uh, office supply, internal raccoon, re relocation noticed. Heat resistant, three number combination safe move from Star's office to West office. Uh, the combo is left nine, left nine, right fifteen, left seventeen. Please change the combo ASAP upon receipt. Uh, RPD facility maintenance depot or department rather. Okay, so we'll uh, do the detonator in a minute. Hello. A whole round. There's a submachine gun. Leon's memo. Claire, I hope you get this. This place is crawling with monsters and your brother's not here. Just get out of here as soon as you can. I really hope you're safe, Leon. Thanks, Leon. That's sweet. Leaving me memos and stuff. Letter to stars members. To my bestest stars buds. How are you all doing in that drab old station? Hanging in there against old irons? Me? I just got back from a date with a hot chick. Bet you can guess what we got up to under her extra large umbrella. Europe is amazing. One month is in no way enough to even scratch the surface. Maybe I'll extend my vacation for another six months. Barry, don't even think of coming to join me. Wouldn't want to make all the cute girls cry. Yeah? So you just leave the babes to me. Jill, if Claire tries to contact you, please let her know I'm okay. Chris Redfield, August 29th. This does not sound like Chris. What do you know? You don't work with him. Submachine gun! I'm gonna leave that in there for now. I won't need it until I um, get underground. For your life! Run! Don't look back! Run! Stay out of my way! For the love of God, run! <laughs> run away! Run away! Run away! Run away! It's, it's okay. It's okay. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Everything's fine. We're safe. Oops. Hooray! C4, a detonator for C4 explosives. Now I need to get back into that storage room. Where I can blow the C4. Oh, store the healing spray. And uh, we'll save it. Now that the tyrant's lurking around. It is terrifying being chased by that thing. Especially as I was expecting a liquor to come around the corner. And then it was just not a liquor. 
Although there might be one. No. Nice. Okay, that creates a way around. I also need to get into the west office as well, which I can probably get to quite easily if I go back towards the dark room. I don't know where the tyrant is right now. downstairs. away. <laughs> Fuck, I thought that was him through the door. Yep. See you, buddy. Haha, <laughs> you can't come in here. This is my safe space. And stay up there. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. It was... 9.15.7 And inside we have inventory space. Nice. No, no, no. Uh, 
out this way. Yeah! Ooh, hi. Holy crap, he was right there. but I've apparently missed something, like, at the, at the very upstairs. <sighs> this is the room I have to blow up. I'm gonna go ahead and get this ready. Because he's getting very close and he's going to hear this. Things keep moving. Everything heard it. because I know the tyrant's not this way. This will give me a better chance to get away. So, oh, I've missed that because that's there and I don't know quite how to get into that just yet. Okay. We're going the other way now. Funny how that works out. I need you to not. Could you just hold off before you explode? Or not? Please don't catch up, please don't catch up, please don't catch up, please don't catch up. Open, 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 open. Go, go, go! Go, go, go! Go, go, go! He'll never find me down here. I'm a free woman. I found his hat! Resident Evil 1 Easter egg. Mm 
Oh, is that not closing? Oh, that doesn't close for Claire. Okay. Hopefully he doesn't fit. that I left in the star's office. Where are you, big guy? Be very, very quiet. We're avoiding monsters. You know, it might be worse that I can't hear him. Because now I haven't got a clue where he might be. Also, I didn't find a single one of those spare keys. There's usually, like, one of those personal saves in here at least, but there isn't. And the personal safes both had the, both had the spare keys in them, but there was no personal safes, so that's lame. Filau? Filu? You. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Might as well grab all that. Just rearrange some of this. There we go. How's B treating me now? You had to step away from for a bit? It's not too bad. It's not too bad. I have plenty of grenade launcher ammo, so uh, there is that. <laughs> uh, I just got all the medallions to get underground, but I remembered I needed the um, stars badge. One problem I'm having, though, is I never found the um, the spare keys to get all of these open. Because there's, you know, film roll there, knife there. And everything on this side that I can't get into, which is grenade launcher ammo. And I think there's a store. Yeah, there's there's bag here that I want. But I can't remember how to get... Uh, I can't find any of the spare keys. I think other, other than that, I pretty much searched everything. Uh, there are those portable safes, and they are in different places in B. Yeah, I figured as much. Um, it doesn't look like I can get any of them just yet, so maybe when we come back here. Provided that our big friendly giant doesn't come find me. Orange 
caution, so I'm gonna say fuck it and take a red green. Probably a dumb idea, but hey. there in a moment. <sighs> Hooray! And what's all that for? Suppressor for the MQ-11. Which one's the MQ-11? The submachine gun. Why didn't you bloody say so? That's it. Actually locked. Yep. I suppose that makes sense because the. Uh... Wait, why would I want a suppressor? Reduces recoil. Okay. Fair enough. I was just thinking, why would I want to be stealthy? This is not a stealth game. That's a child. Hello? Is that the child from the end of Leon's? Anything down there? Nope. And nope. through. Hello? Hey. It's okay. I won't hurt you, I promise. Do you need help? Here, you can take my hand. Why try and move it? Her skinny ass will fit. Come again? Sorry, I can't understand you. You need help. Why? Uh. He's right behind you. Uh. Crawl through, Claire. Hasn't Leon already beaten your ass at this point? Grenade! Nine mil. Not good. Not good. Not good, not good. I did manage to pop it in the head. That is good. <laughs> Jesus, you are fast. That's better. I need your big peeper. I got stuck on the wall. The girl will have skedaddled by the time I get back. Yeah, I know.
Why are you gotta be so fast, man? That's better. I prefer that speed. Okay, now we're back to running away. Let's, let's, let's... Could you just stop and, like, take a swing or something? Jesus Christ, sir. This is going well. Where's he gone? Behind you. There it is. Oh. Oh, I just got walloped. I just wanted the herb, man. I just wanted the herb. High noon, motherfucker. Get away from me. There we go. High noon wins! I probably could have significantly sped that along by using my grenade launcher. Fine. I just need you to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Your, Your mom mother's dead. Here? I think so. I hope so. Yeah. Of course. I'll help you. I knew into the shit out of that guy. And it felt great. This way. Hold on. Flashing. 
It wasn't. What does this button do? It won't move. You wow. got it. So much for it won't move. Just don't speak again unless I permit you to. So, what's it's bad enough that there are zombies. Now there's a child too. She's making an important new medicine. Umbrella? That big pharmaceutical company? My mom's always at work. I don't get to see her much. She's dead. Well, Hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. She's dead. So Worst thing ever in films dad? and video games? He children. Um, worked with my mom, but he's gone. Wow. Both of my parents are gone. It's just me and my brother. Oh. Christopher! I like me. Like me, Christopher. Look, I'm sorry. You should be. You spoke again. <laughs> Don't be. It means we've got something in common, and that's a good thing, right? Why didn't you run away? I guess you had nowhere to go, I suppose. That's probably why you didn't run away. Oh no, this is where there are dogs. Or well, at least Leon had to deal with dogs through her. Here. Come on. It's fine, I've got a Over grenade there. launcher. Dogs are no longer a problem, I'm sure. Well, yeah. Haven't you played Leon's first story? Damn it. We need a key card. One. Here, come out. Yeah, that's not going to work. You're sure this is the way? This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? Huh? Person? I've been looking everywhere for you, Sherry. Brave little girl, leave your house in the middle of this mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. You can't be serious. Are you Re really? On the ground, now. Sherry? Tie your hands. Why are you doing that? Weirdo up. alert. Tie her. Okay then. You tie her up now or she dies. What's this all about? Child endangerment for starters. You're the one waving a gun at her. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. If you hurt her, I swear to God, my brother is stars and I will fuck that. Hey, Sherry, get over here. Now that's a count of assault. What's your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! Sherry, you come with me now or say goodbye to Claire. Okay, okay, I'll go. You better be taking me to my mom. Absolutely. Don't listen to him, he's like shit. That's assault Stop with a deadly her. weapon. Please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop! Let me go! Let me go! Obviously nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Go, yes we will. Let me go! Let me go! I'll get you, you fucker! Stay safe, Sherry. Pedo or other type of monster? Uh, 
what difference does it make okay. <laughs> in a place like this? Key card first. And then that asshole gets what's coming to him. That's nice and locked. Something's coming for me. Oh, that's open. That wasn't open before. Must be where that guy came from. Raccoon Monthly Issue. A uh, Raccoon Monthly June Issue. Attention all Raccoon City heroes. Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right, it's Police Chief Brian Irons. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere and stern father that loves every last one of us sinful citizens. Chief Irons is known for his great charity work including big contributions to the orphanage, support for abused women, art preservation, animal conservation, con conservation, let us know if we've missed anything. Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just doing what I do for my family. Chief Irons said with a soft smile. Oh, yeah. That bastard is the police chief? Great. Express elevator to chief's office, not for general use. Okay. I don't think Leon ever got into the police chief's office. What's our health like? Oh, we're fine. Boy, it's dark in here. Umbrella! Under my umbrella. He's gonna tell me off for using it. Well, not the police chief, he just fucked off with a child. He just vamoosed. Equipment disposal notice. Item to be disposed. Key to patrol car 7439. Details bent key no longer usable, but can still open the car's doors and trunk with its keyless entry buttons. Hooray! Yay, the key! Probably should get closer to the car before I do that. What have we got here? Message from Mr. Raccoon. Howdy, boys and girls. It's your pal from the Raccoon City Zoo. It's always great to see you. Today, I want to talk about something really important to me. You know my popular Mr. Raccoon toys? Well, I heard some bad kids have been using them for target practice, but that makes me really sad. Good little kids wouldn't be that mean, right? Plus, it's super, super dangerous. So just don't do it. Anyways, see you at the zoo. Mr. Raccoon out. <laughs> so just don't do it. <laughs> Oh, that one's already destroyed, because I guess I got it as Leon. That's kind of handy to know. I have so many grenades, I could have just destroyed William with the fucking... ...grenade launcher. That's everything in here. Oh, shit. Can come at me, bro. Please tell me it's eating the dogs. <laughs> it is. Hooray. Oh, 
Let's see if you really can just sneak past them. Or if getting too close to them does set them off. It sets them off. What the fuck? Where did you come from? A gun. 13 shot 9mm handgun. First to use double stack magazine, it was a marvel of firepower at the time due to how many rounds it could hold. But well, then I suppose it's better than what I've got now, really, isn't it? I wish I could, like, empty of its ammo. <laughs> but I can't. Okay. Weird that there's just a handgun sitting in that um, car's boot. Das boot. nearly enough time to reload that or that really still I'd rather those than dogs Nothing else in here. Fair enough. Inside it, though. 
I like that if there's nothing in them, they just don't open all the way. Autopsy record number 53477. Name of deceased, Justin Hansen, male Caucasian, 39 years old. Observations, found dead in jail cell by bed by staff. Hands are still clenched tight due to rigor mortis, which should be coming to an end. It's hi- Excuse me. It's highly likely that he died just after lights out. Deceased ha uh, was a known kleptomaniac. Incarcerated multiple times. Incredibly, he would steal even while in jail, though that was consistent with his clinical diagnosis. Uh. We'll just keep that one closed. Thing. Just to make sure you don't wake up later and come at me. Oops. There we are. You probably have something, don't you? You better have something. Hmm, I guess not. Hello, kleptomaniac. Really? Or not? Ah, there it is. Where did you come from? Fuck me. <laughs> that was a lot of shooting. Yes, Claire, that's generally how I feel about these things. It's fine, you're all locked in there. Briefly, anyway. And now they're not. Better have been both of you. Nope, it wasn't. But I'm not gonna waste another fucking round on you. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? That's 
locked. And that's nothing. Okay. That's the generator room. Well, there is a generator room around there anyway. a GM9. It's GM79. Oh, it is. It is for that. There we go. Hooray! Grenade launcher parts. Uh, I think I used mine, so we'll put that there. There's a lever. Pretend to be Kronk soon. Um... Did I put my other high-grade gunpowder away? That's kind of annoying. Hmm. I assume that will pull the elevator. Yep. Okay, let me just run to storage real fast. I just made it, didn't I? I need that. And uh, let's move on. Oh, I could probably store the film because the only place you can look at film is in the film room where there is also a storage chest. Go. Let's go to the chief's office. It's wet. That's a leaf. Oh my god, really? Oh my god. <laughs> He's that kind of creepy. <laughs> Copy of emails to Chief Irons. Police Chief Irons, as thanks for your unwavering support, I have deposited a small sum into your account to use as you see fit. I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates, especially the ones who survived that mansion. Get rid of them if you must. WB. I wonder if it's William Birkin. Police Chief Irons, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits you want to take the fruit of my research away. But don't worry, this will bl all blow over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you, and everything will be alright. WB, Peace Police Chief Irons, you're up to... You are... You are to up the security around my lab, right? Okay. Uh, your muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious person on sight. Doesn't matter if they kill them, or even if they're Umbrella employees. I'm so close to completing G and no asshole is going to get in my way. WB. Police Chief Irons, get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? 
As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are. W. B. WB sounds like a bit of an asshole. This is... What an ass. Look at all this shit. Fucking taxidermy, really? How trashy. Oh, I have everything in here. I'm still looking around for stuff. <laughs> uh, let's... Actually, let's do a triple green herb mix. Because, why not? And I don't really have anything I want to store just yet. But, we are going to end it there. In this very, very creepy room. Why? <sighs> Claire seems to have access to more weapons. Like, she has two 9mm guns. Whereas Chris only ever gets one. Although, this one, like, it doesn't even have a reticle like all the other guns. See? They're all like, yeah, here's the place you're aiming. But this gun is like, you know, pay attention. <laughs> Which I think is how it works on Resident Evil 5 as well. But, uh, I don't remember. Is that a wolf? It's, this is the police chief's office. Yeah. That's what kind of guy the police chief is. It's a room of dead shit, yeah. Yeah. Stuffed dead shit. Trash panda! But yeah, that's gonna be it for today and there won't be a stream tomorrow because it's a Friday tomorrow. What did I find in here? Uh, okay, in the interest of catching you up, we found this. Uh, Police Chief Irons, as thanks for your unwavering support, I've deposited a small sum into your account to use as you see fit. I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates, especially the ones who survived the mansion. Get rid of them if you must. Talking about Chris, Jill, Barry, and, um, Rebecca. From WB. Police Chief Irons, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away, but don't worry, this will all blow over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you and everything will be alright, WB. Police Chief Irons, you are, up to, you are to up security around my lab. Your muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious person on sight, doesn't matter if they kill them or even if they're Umbrella employees. I'm so close to completing G and no asshole is going to get in my way. W. B. Police Chief Irons, get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are. W. B. Yes, it is all bribes, basically. But, uh... Oh, I can change outfits whenever I want. I don't actually have any outfits for Claire, other than the, you know, altern alternative outfits. But, uh, either way, I will, uh, keep the normal outfits. But anyway, that is going to be it for, uh, for tonight. Like I said, there's no stream tomorrow, because it's a Friday tomorrow. And Saturday, I will probably play Red Dead Redemption and get ever closer to finishing that game. Um, this will probably take, you know, the same amount of streams as Leon's story did because we got only slightly further than Leon in a couple of hours. But, yeah, even so, thank you guys very, very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure and I hope you've enjoyed. And uh, until next time... Have a, have a, have a serendipitous, serendipitous, ser, ser, have a ser, have an evening filled with serenity <laughs> and uh, have an even better Friday and I will see you guys on Saturday. Take extra, excellent, particularly good care of yourselves. Oh, the shout out names for those who have been 
very active in my chat. Putty Tap Her, Adelaide, and Uncle Strange. Thank you all for being very active in my chat. I love a moving chat. It's good to chat with you guys. And chatting is fun. And special thanks to the real Philau Filu, whatever, however you pronounce your name. I probably destroyed it. I apologize. But special thanks to you once again for the follow. And I will see you all again next time. And maybe more of you. But until then, take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful evening. Have a great Friday. And good night.